at this time of year there can be quite a lot of pests around so it's always worth checking the young growing tips on plants to see if there's any distortion there might be aphids inside or here with the hemerocallus we've got something called big bud the buds expand get distorted there's a little midge that's laid its eggs inside the caterpillars have hatched and they're eating the flowers on the inside pick them off get rid of them these roses smell fantastic through the pergola but they have got a little bit of black spot you'll see some here it's spread by fungus and it overwinters in the soil so the key thing is to collect up leaves pinch them off if they show symptoms and collect them up off the ground but you don't want to put them in the compost take them away bag them up either burn them or bin them deadheading is something that we do a lot of and you probably do it at home if we take out the dead ones a lot of plants then send up more flowers so we get a great display right through the year of course here at Eden we've got a lot of plants to keep deadheading. Well now in July there's still just about time to prune some spring flowering shrubs like this carpenteria but also wisteria and lilacs. Showy containers like these with these geraniums in need plenty of water and food right through the growing season. We're using water that we've collected off the roof of the biome and you can do exactly the same at home by collecting your water into a water butt. Now's a great time to harvest lavender. Pick it just as the flowers are coming out and hang it somewhere warm, dark and airy to dry off. It's great for making lavender pillows or lavender dollies. It really aids restful sleep. Some crops come all at the same time, so don't miss out on them. Get harvesting them and make use of them by freezing them, making cordials, ice cream, preserving them. That way you get to enjoy your black currants all year. Mint just smells so good. So I'm gonna go and treat myself to a cup of mint tea. hot summer days your grass will actually stop growing so it's a really good idea if you are cutting it to cut it a little bit higher but you don't have to cut it as often so there's more time to enjoy your garden this is one of my absolute favorite times of year in horticulture i'm choosing bulbs to plant this autumn for spring displays now if i choose now and order early i can make sure i get top size bulbs and i get exactly the plants that i want for the best displays